Good evening, we're on Thursday, the 17th of November 2022. It is now 19.48, soon the 8 p.m. Going to share with you the um, meditation by Anne Graham Lotz for the 17th. The joy of my heart, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord, save me or I perish. Keep me close to you by your grace, or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus, help me. Mary, help me. My holy angel, watch over me. In trouble, in all things, may the most holy, the most just, and the most lovable will of God be done. Praised and exalted above all for ever. Your will be done, O Lord, your will be done. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sins against God. Have I rejected my faith? Refused to find out more about it? Have I forgotten my daily prayers or said them badly? Have I experimented with the occult? or put my trust in fortune tellers or horoscopes? Have I blasphemed against God or used bad language? Have I shown disrespect for holy things, places or people? Have I missed church on Sundays or holy days through my own fault? Have I let myself be distracted at mass or distracted others? Have I received holy communion in a state of mortal sin? Have I received Holy Communion without proper reverence, care or thanksgiving? And chosen the, the um, title for November the 17th, Overcomers, and the, the scriptures taken from Revelations 21 verse 7. He who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. The apostle, Peter, confirms that the inheritance being laid up for the father's children can never perish, spoil, or fade. It is kept in heaven for you. 1 Peter 1 verse 4 Although our inheritance is safely stored in heaven, there is a condition we have to meet before we can claim it. He who, um, oh, he who overcomes will inherit all this. What do you have to overcome in order to claim my father's house as your own? You have to overcome your pride that refuses to acknowledge you are a sinner who needs a saviour. Your religiosity that substitutes rituals for repentance, traditions for truth and orthodoxy for obedience, your unbelief that Jesus Christ is God's Son, the sinner's Saviour. Overcomers place their faith in Jesus alone for salvation and inherit heaven. Heaven, my Father's house. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you.
I'm sending you his peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your comments. God bless you for the rest of your week. Bye-bye.